let's talk a bit about checkpoints. Let's go to Tools, Common, General, and scroll down to Checkpoint. Let's open up the properties and just start at the top. The first thing we see is variations. There are three different styles of checkpoints. Use whichever one fits your track the best. Decal target category we've seen before, so let's go to Advanced Settings. In here, we have one more option we've not covered. Animation Range Enabled. Here, you can set the distance from the game camera you want the animation for the checkpoint to function. If the checkpoint is farther away than the number you set here, it will not animate. Next is Light Settings. Light Enabled turns the light on and off. Draw Range Enabled gives you the option to set the distance the light will be visible from the game camera. Light Intensity is how bright the light is, and Light Range is how far the light spreads. Now remember in the last lesson, we mentioned that checkpoints could also be used as triggers. By default, Trigger Enabled is checked. All you have to do is go to Select Event Filter to select an event or a filter. The next thing we will talk about is Custom Respawn Point. Select this checkbox and it will allow you to reset the router in a different position as opposed to being on the ground like a normal checkpoint. You notice we got a new icon under the rider. We can select this icon from the Select Custom Respawn option or simply select it like a normal object in the editor. This custom respawn point has to stay in line with the driveline so we can only move it up and down and rotate it on one axis. Now when you reset the checkpoint, the router will start in this position. Next is Trigger Also in Restart. Selecting this option tells the checkpoint to not only send an impulse when you trigger the checkpoint, but to also send an impulse when restarting at the checkpoint. Next we have Checkpoint Order. This is where you can set the order you want the checkpoints passed. If they are all set to 1, they will act like normal checkpoints and trigger when you pass them as you ride down the track normally. If you set the order number of one of these checkpoints higher than 1, then you will only be able to trigger a checkpoint with the same number or a higher number. It must be set to the same or a higher number to be triggered. The highest numbered checkpoint will always be the track finish. Next is Do Not Reset Bike. You would usually want to use this when building a track with a custom vehicle. And finally, we have Is Right Direction. Select this if you have the checkpoint to the right of the previous checkpoint. 